Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. Today we have lesson 2 of the unit where we're going to solve exponents. We are going to take them from this form where there is a base and a power and we're going to write them out. We're going to come up with what number they actually equal to. We're going to flex our multiplication skills. I have been. Alright, here we go. We have, the first question is 1 squared. 1 to the power of 2. That means that the base is multiplied by itself twice. So this is 1 times 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. That is good to know. Okay, started off nice and easy. Our second question, 3 squared. This represents the base multiplied by itself twice. So 3 times 3. And if you add 3 to itself, 3 times you get 9. 3 times 3 times 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. That's 3 times 3. All right, let's go 2 to the power of 3. And this one is 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. The base multiplied by itself 3 times. And uh, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. If you would like to write it out like this, 2 times 2 is 4, and then 4 times 2 equaling 8, that is totally OK. Uh, take whatever steps you need to, but you will become familiar with these ones. Uh, let's take one step up. Let's go 5 squared. I'm going to write our brackets just to make it clear. 5 times 5 is what it's asking. Up to the power of 2. 5 times 5 is 25. We're going to do one more in this line and then we've got a few more lined up after that. But this one, 7 to the power of 4. That is represented the base multiplied by itself four times. Seven times seven times seven times seven. You are allowed to do this a couple of ways. Uh, this times this is 49, and this times this is 49. So you could multiply by uh, 49 by itself twice um, and like stack them on top of each other and do the multiplication that way. You could also just take them and multiply them by themselves one at a time. So 7 times 7 we know is 49. Then you can multiply it by 7 to get the next number and multiply that number by 7. And that is what I'm going to do. Uh, I actually know what 7 times 7 times 7 is. It's a familiar number to me, but we're going to show it all anyway. So 7 times 7 is 49, and we're going to multiply that by 7. So that's going to be three of them. So 7 times 9 is 63. I always do that. I've done that several times. 63, the 6 is small to be added. And then we have 7 times 4, which is 28. We are then going to add these. So it's going to go over. 3 gets added to nothing, so it's just 3. And then we have 6 and 8, which is 14. So we're going to you know, write 4, and then we add the 1. And 1 plus 2 is 3. So that's 343. And then we're going to multiply 343 by 7. So this was this together equals 343. So now we need to multiply it by 7 one more time. 343 multiplied by 7. 7 times 3 is 21. So I have a big 1 and a small 2 to be added. 7 times 4 is 28. So I have a big 8 and a small 2 to be added. And then my last one, I just write the whole number large. So 7 times 3 is 21. I'm going to go ahead and add these. So 1 is added to nothing. That's just good right there. 2 plus 8 is 10. So I have a 0. And I bring a 1 over to be added to this next column as well. So 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. And then I bring my 2 down. I have 2,000. 401. You can go ahead and confirm in our calculator. 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 equals 2,401. So we can do these all without our calculator. It just takes a little bit of time and focus. Let's scroll down and do a couple more. Yes. You got like one more hard one in here, I think. Other than that, they're not too, too bad. We have 10 to the power of 4, which is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And I just know when I'm multiplying 10 by itself, it's going to be that many zeros. So this is all equal to 1 and 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10,000. 
be our answer for this one. We have next six to the power of three. So that is six times six times six. I should feel like I should know this one, but I don't. So let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, six times six is 36, and then I'm gonna multiply that by six. So then six times six is 36. I got a big six and a small three for adding. Six times three is 18, so I have 18. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Six, three plus eight is 11. So 216, yes, I feel like I should have recognized that, but that's okay. Uh, 216 would be our answer for six to the power of three. Let's see, we have zero squared next. Uh, that's zero times zero. Anything times zero is just zero. That's just, you know, big old zero. Okay, don't worry about that too much. Zero squared, zero to the power of anything is just zero. Okay, we have the next major one. This is nine to the power of four. Nope, all right, let's go down a bit, there we go. Uh, so that is 9 times 9 times 9 times 9, the base 4 times. So this one, I'm going to do 81 times 81, because I know that 89 squared, or 89 times, or 9 times 9 is 81. So I can do that twice, and I can multiply 81 together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 8 is 8. It's nice and easy. This is why I'm doing it this way. Uh, there's not any crazy numbers to add and subtract. Uh, we're moving over a place, so we're going to put a zero as a placeholder. And eight times one is eight, and then eight times eight is 64. We're going to go ahead and add those two lines. One plus zero is one. Eight plus eight is 16. Four plus one is five. And then we have six brought down. Uh, we have 651 as our answer. Uh, the last one is four times four times four times four. That's four to the power of four. Uh, let's see, so 16, and then 16 times four is 64. And then let's do this one. I think I know what it is, but that's okay. Four times four is 16. One for adding. Four times six is 24. Six, one plus four is five. 256 is our last one. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and I'll see you soon.